of Heiko, Bosky River Campground. Well, sun is coming up. <laughs> Sunshine today. Packed up, loaded up, ready to hit the road. Marble Falls, Texas, to get a cup of coffee. And just look at this view. Man, that'd be awesome to live in one of those houses up there where you can look out over the valley. So cool. Beautiful country. More to come. Made it to Lampasses, Texas. I've been through here a couple times, and I always see a place on the on the side of the road. It's called Hancock Park. Apparently, it's one of the largest spring-fed pools in Texas, or something. If you want to pause? You can read that. I don't think it's going to be the largest spring fed because that would be Balmoria. There's a lot of water coming out of that spring though. Oh, I see. Wow, oh, check that out. Look how clear that water is. Yeah. People throwing trash in there. Cool is that? It's awfully deep. I wonder how deep that is. Probably 10, 12 feet deep. Might have to come back and pay a visit to this in the summer when it's hot and we can take a dip. Came over to the other side, as you can see, that's the highway there. And there's the pool. I wanted to see the outflow from the pool. It looks like there's a lot of water coming out of that spring. Lampasas River. If I had more time, I could take the scooter and run across there's a bridge. Anyway, don't have more time. And there's the spring flow. Oh, lots of water. Rolling into the town of Heiko, Texas. I spent way too much time hanging out talking to Kent Wenzel at Wenzel's Lone Star Meat. Oh, by the way, he is now, would be considered, now considered a channel sponsor. I work for meat. <laughs> 
So he's gonna give me all kinds of meat to try on video. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, I need to focus on where I'm going. Hiko, Bosky River, campground. Check it out, right? My front porch, the Bosky River. Of course, it's running really high right now because of all the rain that we've had. Huge tree, pecan tree. I don't think I'm gonna do an official FPV tour because it's, it's not very much. Pretty much, you can see the whole park from right here. I'm in site number 20. Full connection, believe it or not. 30 and 50 amp water sewer. It's very level. Uh, it is a gravel pad and the roads are gravel as well, but it's, it's a well compacted gravel. The road is actually smoother than the, the last campground we were in. Bandstand, playground. We gotta go check out that marker. And then a couple of covered group type pavilions over there. And there's apparently a shower facility. I'll have to check it out. Garbage cans right here. There's a picnic table at every site. Pretty. And it's quiet. It's a lot quieter than that last campground we were in the KOA. By far, this is a better campground than the KOA. And it cost half the price. It was $28 I paid online. Very simple process to pay online. How cool is that? Go Texas! Cool as this, man. I, I just can't get over. Thank you, Heiko. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I was really disappointed when I found out that I wasn't going to be able to get into the Colorado Bend State Park and that uh, the other had a Corps of Engineers park scheduled for tonight. And now I'm kind of glad that things played out the way, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen, you know. I wouldn't have uh, gotten to spend one good night in Meridian State Park and I certainly would not have gone out of my way to look for another campsite and found this one, Heiko, City of Heiko. All right, so we're going to go here and check out the restroom facilities. I don't think there's anybody in here, but I'm gonna be courteous and have it pointed at me until I ascertain that is the case. Yeah, that's not bad. That's as good as or better than some of the COE properties I've been to and a couple of state parks. Not bad, not bad at all. Read the revival here. You could do family reunion. They actually have some type of steak eating contest or cooking contest or something that they do here. All right, these are deceased veterans, KIA. Thank you for your service. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and go see if I can find us some more stuff. We have an old Iron Man style bridge. So the park is right there. This is, I believe, a 16 ton, yeah, 16,000 pounds. So if you've got a 
big coach, you probably can't go across there. Eight ton. All right, so while I'm riding around on my scooter, I saw this banner. Woodleycreator.com. So she's going to show me what Woodley Creator is all about. I can give you some work about it. All right, so Dave is, there's a lot of echo in here. I'm not sure how that audio is going to turn out, but this is what Dave does. And Woodleycreator.com is an expression of Dave's art form, and it is definitely an art form. Look at the detail. A little drawer. Yeah. It is so cool. Dave is a very talented man. That took some time. Yeah, drum. Oh. Every kid made a drum for one semester. The teachers were not crazy about it. <laughs> yeah, I bet mom and dads weren't too happy about it either. <laughs> no, most of these kids are residential. Hmm. Troubled youth. Now that is so cool right there. Different heights. Okay. The, the little, go up and down. <laughs> Roll it back up. Does again. that extend as well? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh yeah. This one here. So this one comes out and then the extension comes out. Look at that. So you got quite an adjustment. That's amazing. It's been sitting for so long here in the humidity and dry, humidity and dry. Changed a little bit, but you know, when you think about it, it, it's pretty, pretty close to authentic. So what caught my attention was your, your banner out there, woodleycreator.com. Yeah. What is woodleycreator.com for you? I like to create unique things. Like I found those little face boxes, something unique to do. Uh, little Tom Tom drum. Now, is that a, is it a retail or is it just a place for you to display? It started out. I was a public school teacher in Illinois. And taught woodshop for the last 21 years to students with some sort of learning disability. It could have been mentally handicapped or maybe behaviorally troubled and because of that fell behind in school. And I would get these boys and girls and try to teach them some self-discipline, using the wood shop to do that. And so that's how some of these different ones became about. Most of the trucks and, and construction equipment were done by classes with boys in them because they thought that was pretty neat. And the fact that everything moved and looked like the real thing. The little faces occurred because I had started having classes with girls in it and they didn't want to make the trucks and stuff. A few of them did the jewelry boxes, treasure boxes, but then they got bored with that. One girl wanted to make a face. <laughs> and I thought, all right. <laughs> so I said, go to the scrap wood bin and that's how little scrap wood Scotty, the very first one right there, came about was the uh, kids would pick pieces of wood out of the scrap bin to make their noses, mouths, eyes, and stuff on the face of their little box. <laughs> so they all have a, they all open and close. That's got a little drawer in it. This one's got a little drawer in it. That is so cool. That one's got two drawers. 
little Martians. They have a drawer as well. <laughs> so it, just anything that would be different and allow. So if someone goes to the, the Woodley Creator, they could get my number and call and ask me about anything they. Okay. All right, cool. Well, I, I certainly appreciate you taking the time and coming down off the ladder to demonstrate that. That is just, that is that's rocket, man. I can't get over it. Thanks again. All right, I'm just scooting around Hyco, Texas. That's a cool little town. Although it's, it's Sunday afternoon, so most of it's not open. And check that out. That's a statue called Billy. by James Rice of Rice Galleries. I'm so sad. The Billy the Kid Museum is not open on Sundays. But if you're coming through Heiko, Texas, make a point to come to Billy the Kid Museum. And if you're wondering what Heiko, Texas has, what connection there is to Billy the Kid, well, there's a fellow by the name of Brushy Bill Yates that was from Heiko who laid claim to being Billy the Kid. Now, I'm not in a position to say he was or wasn't. I don't know. Have a neat little downtown here for sure. Historic Heiko, Texas. Check this out. This cast iron fountain was placed into public service and erected by the Heiko Humane Society in 1914. Horses drank from the upper portion and dogs drank from the small side opening near the base. How cool is that? We don't want anybody going thirsty in Heiko, Texas. Silver Spur Winery. We're gonna check out the Silver Spur Vineyard and Winery. They are about the only thing that's open today. And they close at five o'clock, so I better hurry. I had a little wine sampling at the, the Silver Spur Vineyard and Winery here in Heiko, Texas. It's got a good cab. I'm having cab with the steak. Is it? I'm gonna have a glass of red wine and watch the river. And I think what's gonna go really well, bite my butt, pork rinds. I think that will pair very nicely with the silver spur. Is a good morning. Camped out here in Heiko, Texas, right by the river. Now, it's not as high as it was yesterday. It's come way down since I got here yesterday afternoon late. But man, what a great campsite. Well, if you're headed out this way into the hill country of Texas, you might want to pay a visit to. A little RV park here operated by the city of Heiko. 
the town of Heiko is a neat little place to visit. But it wrapped. Brings me to the end of my visit here in Heiko, Texas. Time to get back on the road and go north. Going, in, going to be driving in Monday morning traffic. Stinks. But anyway, hey, if you've enjoyed the journey, give me one of them thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the journey, you can do the thumbs down thing. I'm cool with that. Just tell me, tell me why if you do the thumbs down thing. Most important, click on the subscribe button and the bell right down there. I got some cool stuff coming up before the end of this year. We'll have visited at least seven more state parks. Of course, that's going to take us into the first part of next year as well. You want, might want to come along for this journey. Thank you so much for watching. And those of you who have subscribed, I'm honored. Thank you very much. Y'all come back now. You hear?